morning, Fulton students. I am Mr. Hansen, and this is your intro to Ultimate Frisbee. Hey guys, it's Miss Dalhan bringing you fun facts about Ultimate Frisbee. So Ultimate Frisbee hasn't been around that long. It was actually started as a gag by a school, a bunch of high school students at Columbia High School in New Jersey, led by Joel Silver uh, and the student council. They came up with this game, a fast paced moving game with a Frisbee. It took about four years to get those rules pat down, but in 1972, uh, there was the first collegiate game between Rutgers and Princeton. Since then, this game has spread across the nation, and now we have 22 professional teams that play Ultimate Frisbee and thousands of collegiate teams. So get out there, play this game, and maybe one day you can go to college on a scholarship. Okay. All right, in Ultimate Frisbee, the proper stance, there are four steps, point, cross, step, and flick. Number one, you point at your target. Number two, you bring the frisbee across your body. You step, then you flick your wrist. Point, cross, step, flick. Okay, now I'll be going over your three types of throws. In ultimate frisbee, we like to focus on three main throws. You have the backhand, you have a forehand, and a overhead throw, which is often referred to as a hammer. So when you're doing the backhand, that's usually the most easiest and the most basic. You're going to still use your point, cross, step, and flick method, but hold the frisbee. I like to hold my frisbee with the thumb on top, and I kind of curl my fingers underneath, and I have my pointer finger there on the edge of the frisbee. So frisbee is going to remain flat about your waist, and you're going to still do the same motion, but keep the frisbee flat and a firm wrist and step towards your target and flick it. That is a backhand throw. Same kind of technique with your forehand. Forehand throw, you're kind of holding the frisbee the same way, but this time, imagine there's a defender or someone in front of you, and you're trying to step around them, and you're throwing from this side. This side would be a forehand throw, because you have the forehand part of your body in your hand, you're stepping around throwing it with your forehand, okay? The third one, a little bit harder. Frisbee's actually gonna be upside down. This is a overhead throw, often again called the hammer, so either one's acceptable, overhead or hammer. You are gonna throw it over the top of somebody. So you're kind of stepping, holding the frisbee. Again, it's upside down, and you're just kind of throwing it like you'd be throwing a hammer, like throwing it over the top. So again, review your three basic throws in ultimate frisbee. You have a backhand throw, you have a forehand throw, and the overhead or the hammer. Any questions, please let us know. So we're just gonna kind of demonstrate some. So again, backhand, flick of the wrist, Throwing it from my waist, throwing it with my backhand side going. Step and throw, flick, backhand. Make sure we're keeping that frisbee flat, throwing from my waist, flick the wrist. Okay, that's your backhand. Now we'll be going into our over or our forearm. So I'm stepping around and I'm kind of throwing my forehand throw off to the side. Stepping and throwing. Step around and flick the wrist, throw the forehand throw. Okay, the last one, the overhead of the hammer. Again, frisbee's upside down. I'm stepping and throwing over the top to someone. I step and throw, frisbee is upside down. Okay, overhead or hammer, throwing over the top. Okay, that completes your throws, backhand, forehand, and overhead, also known as the hammer.